Hello everyone, how's it going? Munkle Zonky here, and welcome to my Automatons guide. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to kill the creatures that are accessed after the World Wakes quest is completed, as long as with all the prerequisite quests to access the full rewards. So you do need to complete a lot of quests to kill these, such as Ritual of the Majarat and a couple others that can be explained in your quest guide itself. As long as you've completed the World Wakes, though, and you have all the quests completed, you can come and camp these monsters. Uh, they can be assigned as a Slayer task as well, but in this guide, I'm just going to be showing you how to kill them off of a Slayer task and also gain the XP and loot that you can gain from them. The loot from Automatons is pretty darn good. Um, just in herbs and regular stackable drops, they drop logs and some runes, stuff like that. You can earn about 1.5 mil per hour just in the regular drops. They also drop gloves. The most expensive one of these gloves being the pneumatic gloves, which are currently worth 20 mil, and you can expect one about every 10 hours. Also, the XP that you gain from these is about 380k XP per hour. That is uh, attack, strength, or defense, plus the constitution XP that you will also get. So let's head into the gear setup and what you want to be bringing here to get the most effective kills. This is the inventory and gear that I personally like to bring with automatons. Just as a disclaimer, if you would like to stay for longer trips, you can consider bringing a yak and filling it with prayer potions. You won't need any food as you'll be healing all you need off of the soul split curse, and you will be using turmoil as well, so it's important to have a lot of prayer. So for my gear, I'm wearing a comp cape, you can replace that with a skill cape, bandos armor, drygors, you definitely want to be meleeing these, as the ones that you melee drop the most valuable gloves, as well as the uh, bandos boots and gloves. Six Age Circuit is important, as it can teleport you there, as well as just being a good ring. Uh, Dragon Rider Amulet for the prayer bonus is very nice. If you are on Slayer Task, bring a Slayer Helmet, if not, you can bring a bandos Helmet, however, I do not have one. And then your inventory, an extreme set, a couple prayer renewals, some prayer potions. Again, it only takes about 30 seconds to bank, which is the reason why I don't bring a yak. However, if you do want to bring a yak and stay for longer, just make sure to bring an additional extreme set and some more prayer renewals and then fill your yak full of prayer potions. But anyway, how you get there is you just go to your 6 age circuit and you click teleport on there. And that'll teleport you straight to the Guthix's shrine, which is where you access the automatons. And as soon as you see this druid, just teleport on the druid himself, and he will teleport you to the automatons. Now, there are three kinds of automatons. There are some that you can range, some that you can mage, and some that you can melee. The ones that are weak to range are up here north are called the generators. The ones that are weak to mage are in the middle. They're called the guardians. And the ones that are weak to melee are at the south, and they are called the tracers. I would not recommend to kill the other two because, for one, they are slower to kill using magic or range. And for two, the gloves that they drop are worth less. So I'd always recommend to kill the tracers if at all possible. Now the automatons do have one special attack that for the most part if you are killing them fast enough you will never have to worry about. But what they can do is they can pound the ground after a while and cause damage to you. So I'll try to get one of them to do that. You just want to make sure that you kill them within about 25 seconds or so and then you will not really get any damage at all despite from their auto attacks which is only a very very small amount of damage and nothing to worry about. So as you can see I've waited too long and he's about to pound the ground and uh, when he does this this hits constant 1.5k's uh, or around 1 to 1.5k's so you really want to make sure that you kill them fast enough so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, my preferred method of attack is I get up to max adrenaline and then I use the berserk ability and then I kill one, uh, one automaton using only berserk with basics and then I use my berserk with a threshold on the next automaton and that can usually kill it very fast. So use either the destroyer or assault threshold on the next automaton you kill and you can get it down very fast as long as that berserk is active as well. You can hit like six to seven Ks uh, with berserk and a threshold as well. But anyway, uh, you want to camp these in about once every 10 hours or so, or if you're lucky, even less time. If you're unlucky, even more time. You will receive a drop of gloves called the pneumatic gloves, and there will be a humongous shiny light on the ground when you get them, and they sell for about 20 mil. So anyway, uh, that's about all for this guide. Good luck on getting yourself some pneumatic gloves or even a crest spot if that's what you want. And uh, stay tuned for future guides. Farewell.